that you forgot about me. Yo! What's good tonight? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it. One more again. The JYD. Get the juking, baby. The Junkyard Dog. The J Dizzle. Dum 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 dum. Oh oh oh. Dum 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 dum. How you know you gonna get along? I feel it. 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 I know I'm back there. I don't wanna hit you back to say. I don't know I'm down, I know I'm down. Hey, we're gonna get you too. I know we're gonna back to dust. So, when you talk about wrestling, I don't know what's going on, man. They just. I don't, I really don't understand the channel, man, or none of the stuff they be trying to do, man, for real. Now they back with the screw, the scoop, the Scooby-Doo screw-up thing here, they run it. Now the thing ain't working no more again. Like, like, one day it was working fine. For one day, yeah, 24 hours. Now, problems. After 24 hours of no problems, here we are with problems now. Zero notifications, just issue after issue after issue. I mean, nobody got a notification. I'm thinking of just canceling out the entire video and starting all over again. I mean, that's how I, I'm almost at that point, but I guess it's probably kicking in now. So. I'm at the bank. See, you guys are familiar with people taking money out the bank. I put money in the bank. <laughs> I don't need all that cash on me. So I insert it in the banks. Seven 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 nine. Let me keep some of these singles. Yeah, let me keep this. I like to keep singles on me. The toes and all that. But everything else can go on the back. Oh, See, smart man puts money in the bank instead of keep taking it out. Now, let's get to the JYD. The junkyard dog. 
I ain't know I put that much in there. Jeez. But anyhow, the Junkyard Dog was one of the greatest wrestlers. Like, what time is it? It's so it's late. <laughs> but the JYD was one of the best wrestlers that were out there, bar none. Thank you. But they had to make sure the money was real. Came from me, fool. Now. Oh, yeah. No receipt. No receipt. I know what's in the bank. Now, let's get to it. The JYD, the Junkyard Dog. See, what people didn't know about JYD is JYD was gifted. He was greatly known for his power, his performance. He could lift wrestlers up with ease. Wouldn't hurt nobody. He was sharp, athletic back in the day when he first started. But... Dog had problems. Dog had dog like to get down. And you know the way he was juking out there on the floor. He was juking like that. <laughs> and the dog on. He was juking like that and the dog on what's his name too? Dog was juking like that in the clubs. Juking like that after the wrestling matches. And dog would blow all his money. So when he came to the WWE, he didn't really have that many vices that they knew of. You know, he was good. They were starting the WrestleMania and all this stuff. Plus, other guys doing so much, they didn't have time to worry about JYD. Because when it was time to wrestle, JYD was going to do his thing. He had a thump on his trunks. He came out to the ring. Nobody bothered JYD. A fan favorite. Uh oh. JYD was a fan favorite. People love to see the JYD do this thing. But here come the problems with JYD. And here's some things you didn't probably know about Junkyard. Junkyard Dog went ahead and did some things that shocked a lot of people. After the wrestling match, Dog went and got drunk. He still had his wrestling trunks on. Dog, dog was in the corner of the dog on restroom at one of the bars he was in, and he had peed on himself. And I believe one of the other wrestlers helped escort Dog home because Dog had a couple of buddies he hung out with. I think he hung out with Teddy Atlas, uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. And some other guys I think he really he really got down and dirty with <clears throat> so dog was known to do some crazy stuff and he normally try to get Tony Atlas to hang with him come on Tony let's go out me and you but dog had a problem with them drugs man them drugs they started to wear and tear on him and this is all right no JYD is all right I mean everybody does a little thing on the side but he's the ultimate professional and this saw the numbers he was bringing in. Whenever they put in, Dog never complained about how he didn't get a title shot. Dog wasn't one of them guys who was vicious and wanted to move up. Dog just wanted to wrestle and have fun, get his money, and run out there and do his thing. So that's going to work perfect for Vince. This is his dream wrestler. Everybody be like, man, you know, this dude's slipping now. Dog starts, you know, getting a little sluggish. You know, accidentally hurting people, forgetting his marks on moves. So you couldn't really progress the guy because 
other wrestlers were tired of him. He was hurting people. I think he hurt somebody's shoulder. If it was Greg the Hammer Valentine, I think he hurt Greg the Hammer Valentine's shoulder on a slam. You know, he just missed, he missed the sign. And sometimes he wouldn't even communicate. So dog would be dog was so drunk at one house cart. I mean, he didn't do any moves. He just acted like a dog the whole time. He didn't come out there. He was wagging his butt in the ring, doing the, you know, do the little dog head butt thing. He's still in dog mode, <laughs> rolling on the back. <laughs> he done did that for about ten minutes straight <laughs> for like the whole match. They trying to say, okay, you got to get up now. He rolled over on the back. <laughs> And the crowd would go crazy for Junkyard Dog. That's what makes it even more wild is that everybody was loving it. They didn't know why people, I mean, wrestlers didn't know why this guy could just show up and show out. And when this dude was messed up at his most, they said, we got to make a song for the JYD. Because the Queen, they were going to have to pay out the nose. For all these songs and Vince wasn't finna pay for all these records no more. They used to play I the Tiger, Dan Dan Dan. They used to be Hulk Hogan song, I the Tiger, and all these other songs that they used to play from bands. And then they they launched the thing where you gotta pay the bands all this music. You know, you got to get copywritten. So Vince was ticked. So Vince decided to make his and create his own music. And they went in there in the studio and came out with their own publishing company and made their own records. So now all the wrestlers will have their own interest music. And that was the best genius idea Vince and the team came up with. But they came up with uh, the Hulk and theme song now, Real American. <coughs> Roddy Piper theme song, the Honky Tonk Man, and Junkyard Dog had the most popular one him and Roddy Piper. It had beat Real American by Hulk Hogan. The songs were so popular, they even had an award show called the Slammies. <laughs> the WWE award show, the Slammies. So anyway, Junkyard Dog was so messed up from partying. When he went over there to record the doggone song, They told him they want they got a song for him that that's gonna fit the junkyard dog. So junkyard dog wanted to come up with the lyrics to the song. Like, oh, I know what the dog gonna be doing. He's like, yeah, you just gonna talk on the record and all this, and we just gonna go to the hook and everything. We got a writer in there, and he was like, well, we need a theme, you know, thump. You know, you got thump on the back of your trunk. No, I'm gonna grab them cakes, baby. <laughs> dog. And that's all he did was talking about grabbing a woman's cakes. He was so messed up when they made the record. And <laughs> they got dog in that dog. They don't even know what dog is talking about. They was like, just keep recording. Come on, baby. Yeah, I'ma grab them cakes. And the, the background singer, he was really trying to grab her cakes. <laughs> he, he was he in there. <laughs> I'ma grab them, baby. It was nuts. <laughs> So when you listen to the song, just picture the junkyard dog doing just like that. Right now, he'll have me, two, me, three, me, four, me, five. <laughs> they all be out them. Dog was something else. <laughs> Cause back then, you know, that was just the norm. Grab them cakes. Yeah, baby. Grab them cakes. Dog was something else. So after Grab Them Cakes went by, came and went, there was another huge problem that ensued. <laughs> Once Grab Them Cakes came and went through, they like, all right, Grab Them Cakes, what a success. Grab Them Cakes came and went, next thing you know,
Junkyard Dog song became such a massive smash, they had to keep putting him in the ring. And with the late great Harley Race, Harley Race pulled off a great WrestleMania 3 with him and what they had to wrestle for the crown. They put on a great match and did a great build up as Harley Race worked with him. And Harley just passed away three days ago. Rest in peace, King. He's a legend. Now, the situation's got a little crazy for Dog, because Dog, once he get his check and his money, he party hard. So, Dad, Dog was at the, like, the last bit of his money one night, and he had these ladies, and he was trying to get up with, and Dog was like, man, I'm trying to get up with these ladies. Like, man, we need some stuff, and I ain't got no more stuff. So, he'll go see what wrestlers had something, and... Dog had another lifestyle that people didn't know. Dog was like a male stripper. A male, more than that, he was a male gigolo. The JYD had a side hustle of being a male gigolo. He had a girl named Bernadette in one scene. Bernadette, she come on over. He would get the fans. And they would pay money. You know how fans would pay money for autographs? Fans would pay money to sleep with them, too. He had old white women. He had black women. He had them all. They all wanted a piece of the dog. And the dog was there to oblige. <laughs> JYD was there to butt. Miss Bernadette a fly up in there. She wanted us some J.Y.D. And then Tony Atlas couldn't believe it. He said, Tony, we stars. They supposed to be paying us anyway. They're supposed to be paying us anyway, Tony. We the stars. It ain't fixed for you? Mm -hmm. Don't to drinking and drugs. That was his drinking and drugs, man. And whenever he low, he go call up Dad. She'll come over there. JYD come there, bust him down, break him off, and get his money on the side. He even went to an adult club, and they paid JYD to start juking. JYD had it rough, man. But he had such an easy road. His road didn't have to be rough at all because JYD, his road didn't have to be rough because JYD was taken care of. Anytime he wanted an advance, he was just living off advances. Vince would give him an advance. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But JYD, yeah, yeah, give him what he wants. But it, it hindered his career late in his life to the point where he they, they hurt him, but they had to let they had to let him go. Junkyard Dog just couldn't perform no more. So that's when he started like getting serious again. Like, I gotta start working out. The dog wasn't working out, he was just getting big, the belly was getting fatter and fatter. 
So then he went over to WCW and came on over there. And the dog came in and started fighting the run. He was back. Oh, need a bone to join. And I found myself a home. So. I'm working. And you probably say, well, what are you working on, Mr. Carcino? It's quite simple. I'm working on my 50 greatest rappers list. After watching that atrocious list yesterday, I stopped everything I was doing and I said, this is going to become my dog on motivation. I'm not doing anything other than I have got to finish this list first before I move forward. You understand what I'm telling you? Yeah, they doing what they can, man. They're messing it up. But we'll get there. Don't worry about it. I got you. Sino won't let you down. 